in the Serpentine North Gallery in London, a mesmerizing world unfolds before our eyes. This is Echoes of the Earth Living Archive. A sensory feast that evolves with each visit. No two experiences are ever the same. Tech artist Refik Anadol is the mastermind behind this groundbreaking exhibition, using data as pigment and AI as the thinking brush. Nature is the most intelligent technology we have. We need a very advanced technology to understand it, to learn it, to love it, to respect it. I'm trying to find this new relationship that maybe in the age of AI, we can still use cutting edge technology to preserve it, to learn it, to love and respect it. By feeding vast amounts of data from coral reefs, rainforests, and the natural world into algorithms, Anadol has crafted hypnotic artworks that blur the lines between nature and technology. The project has image, all more than half billion images. We have more than 70 million long sound recordings of the forest and the nature. We have 25,000 bird songs, so we will hear all the birds of Amazonia in this exhibition. Despite being heavily tech-driven, the Turkish artist's creations feel natural and organic. That's been his ethos, defining his over a decade-long career, and it comes from a deeply personal space. After losing his uncle to Alzheimer's disease, Anadol committed himself to bringing a new depth to art. Anadol's art now aims to represent and preserve our collective memories. And his goal to never forget has propelled his art to even greater heights and bigger spaces. Anadol made history as the first artist to have his work displayed on the sphere in Las Vegas, the world's largest LED screen. In a world where technology can sometimes isolate us, Anadol's work serves as a bridge, linking our humanity and the natural world. People can be locked in in their own algorithm and don't see anything anymore outside you know, their algorithm. And I think the, question, the big question is also with AI, to which extent AI can in that sense liberate us you know, from that filter bubble uh, and not reinforce it. And I think that's something where, again, art plays a big role because I think artists are very focused on this idea of not locking us in. While the rise of AI raises valid concerns, Anadol sees it as a reflection of his intentions. I think AI is a mirror for humanity. It can exactly create what we wish. If we have good intentions, it's a good AI. And I'm trying to be in the good intention side, to use it for possibilities, discoveries, innovations, signs, to bring possibilities to us, to enhance our cognitive skills, um, to find connection with nature, to celebrate life.